Hello guys, he came my PC from AliExpress, my build, build from AliExpress, we go into unpack him, unpack this package, it seems to me that uh, it wasn't open on the post, so we're going to see what is new for me, Xeon processor in here and we have a DDR4 here in a box unpacking this way China guys packed this pretty firmly oh we see how Ather Miter mainboard box in a box born for gaming we are going to open this box this robot dude we got this pretty picture and this this is just for 150 bucks and what's in it we see this ring for the for this uh, snowman uh, cooling for processor some bolts here screws we see this uh, set a cable and what's in this box? This is uh, RAM, Atermiter, so it's going to be the 100% fit, 100% working on this mainboard Atermiter. Atermiter, we see Atermiter with this uh, thermal cooling, cooling uh, aluminum, aluminum. So it appears to be it should be 16 gigabyte, gigabytes. We see this is 16 gigabytes DDR4. Yeah, finally I have this DDR4. So we put it aside and we going to proceed to the main thing. You see this uh, bubble uh, packet. Uh, we're going to see our new mainboard motherboard. Oh, I see the processor already. We're going to see what is this, this inside. We see on this... Uh, oh, processor. Chinese guy was so generous, so he's already installed processor, so we're not gonna put it maybe on the wrong side. So we see Xeon E2620 version 3. You see this Malaysian, it's a little scratch, it's used, but it's totally okay. And it costs about uh, 20 bucks aside so no battery here because the customs won't allow the battery go to the country so now we see with vram uh, we see this uh, kind of cooler this is powerful processor it's uh, you see this uh, elements it is not so complex and big uh, radiator but uh, i think it's okay you see this uh, mini AGX motherboard, and only one PCI Express, we don't need more. You see the south bridge here, and uh, this is the uh, panel, PS2, I don't know why Chinese still put them on. You see USB 2 and USB 3, Ethernet and uh, some audio here. So, I think it's going to be enough for us. So, we're going to do the first thing first. We're going to put our memory in the slot. DDR4, you see, these contacts have some twisted. You see, this uh, longer on the middle and shorter on the corners. And uh, if we go to put one DDR, Chinaman uh, said that this should be installed in this orange slot and not the black one. Hola bola, we're going to install that. 
it should click when we install it and it means it installed properly is it click no it's the click i think it's right or it's wrong so click it and click it hooray it came right into place so we see this build that came to us so we're going to get the case and the change my old motherboard to this new motherboard i have uh, old ssd and we're going to put a simple cooler it's with two tubes two thermal pipes and later on uh, we i going to get m2 module so we just uh, do it uh, with regular regular ssd and we know that this ssd has limit by the sata speed so anyway Anyway, and we're going to, to install new. So we see. This is a new one, and this is an old one. And what is difference? As you see, this is a gigabyte uh, 1050 Ti with 4 gigabytes DDR5 memory. And you see this. Uh, tower cooler uh, from deep cool uh, this is a couple of pipes i think it's going to be enough and the motherboard you see it's about a twice uh, bigger i mean old one this is gigabyte i am free and now i am the phenom for cores uh, 3.2 gigahertz it is it's placed on gta 5 but the uh, little legs appears so we see this big uh, full tower and we're going to be installed this mini atx motherboard so this uh, we're going to change this psu power going to be the change replaced by this uh, new one Zalman what beat 500 watts new power supply unit black one it is gonna be look great so we go into Firstly, we're going to like uh, put out our graphic card. This is a six pin uh, power. It's kind of big, but uh, <laughs> already not enough big that the uh, new ones with the uh, three coolers. But this is a graphic card. OK, for this uh, average uh, uh, games, I mean, like even new games, but with average options, graphic options. So we remove this uh, cooler and we see this uh, thermal paste, uh, thermal grease, uh, it's kind of bad. It was like no name, Russian thermal grease. And we see Chinaman uh, put this thermal compound. Uh, his, uh, I'm going to use to this because uh, it's I think it's better anyway than this uh, old goddamn uh, crap uh, Russian thermal compound. So this thermal compound uh, Chinese, uh, it's going to be better because this is uh, new at least. So we put out our gigabyte and we go into once again compare them. You see how much different this. So we go into. I put the PSU inside our system. I'm going to put the battery inside. Change from the old one, old motherboard. So 
what we're going to do we're going to install this uh, ring screw it down this fitment for the for the cooler for the tower cooler processor you see it's uh, it's installed upside down uh, vrm uh, on the top and the processor you see is upside down but it's right way for this socket it installed by the china guy who already knows exactly how it should be so i hope this is gonna work and i don't know <laughs> can he do it could he do it wrong i think uh, it's uh, probability it's uh, comes to zero so i uh, clean the a bit i'll cooler this uh, so i'm going to i'm going to use this uh, thermal compound on this processor and kind of like this you see it has a gray color uh, like uh, usually good thermal compounds do not this russian white one so I'm going to smear this like this. Uh, I used to smear this with my finger, but I think it's not this right. So I'm going to use this uh, packet for the smearing. I don't have uh, my special spatula for this. I'm going to have this later. So you see it on my videos, but <coughs> I think it's okay. Thin layer, thin layer, not thick, but uh, it's enough thermal grease here only for the thin layer, so it's going to be okay. So we smear it and we going to put it on place and snug it on with these clips like this. Put it like this and click it like that. So it came on place like was here. So I installed here and you see <laughs> my full tower makes this little motherboard uh, look even less, look even littler. You see, I'm going to show you the photo. You see, it's uh, almost like the uh, size of a graphic card. Graphic card looks even bigger. So I'm going to put it on, turn it on, press the power, and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> Something came wrong. Okay, now I put my PSU on, turn it on, and it turns on. You see, the cooler is starting and the lighting of a gigabyte. Now we're going to install the system. Okay, not from the first time I put it on, but it came out working finally. So I'm going to install my Windows 10. Skip, skip this. Uh, number and uh, we're going to install 10 pro and now you see already see how his processor works you see old one only 600 and uh, new one 2000 and we're going to see grand theft auto this is with old system and with a little graphic card uh, this is uh, my old car this is a uh, nvidia gtx uh, 550 ti with only two gigabytes ram so it's you see it's 30 fps it's it's pretty it's pretty damn slow and you see it's in the window because the uh, OBS Studio can uh, record this old graphic card. It's just not compatible. 
so in the next video i'm going to show you i'm going to show you this my old system is my amd phenome for course but already with a new graphic card 1050 ti with 4 gigabytes dram ddr5 so you see we got uh, 60 fps but it's 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 not that fast 60 fps but graphic is bad graphic is kind of like 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 that kind of like uh, you see squarey like in minecraft and uh, you see this rain it, it it's like it's really bad with the rain it's like 40 fps or something so uh, now you gonna be a you going to see now new system new system with the uh, new motherboard and Xeon six cores 12 uh, streams or something and you see you already see it is like 100 100 uh, FPS you see 100 uh, oh, 120 FPS on a new system with uh, 1050 Pi and video Ti but with a new Zion with this little with this little mini ATX motherboard but with DDR4 RAM you see 120 FPS graphic is not good as on Huanangi that I'm uh, installed after that you go into see the link in the description but uh, it's uh, fast enough to play and to not think about these lags or freezes so all links on this motherboard processor on this set on this RAM going to be in the description so subscribe to my channel go to the links on the description on Aliexpress buy some new stuff and pretty cheap upgrade your PC and play these modern video games or not so modern <laughs> okay see ya write your comments below subscribe to the channel bye bye